<laughs> Electrocaloric effect in ferroelectrics. Can electric... How can flicking an electric field on a special crystal make it chill without compressors, refrigerants, or moving parts? The electrocaloric effect in ferroelectric materials promises just that, a swift temperature change under an applied voltage, opening the door to solid-state cooling technologies. What happens when you crank up the field? Inside a ferroelectric, think of it as a lattice of tiny electric dipoles, an external voltage lines up those dipoles, reducing their disorder. Less disorder means lower entropy, and when the crystal can't exchange heat fast enough, its temperature actually rises. Switch the field off, the dipoles scramble back, entropy jumps, and the material momentarily absorbs heat from its surroundings, dropping in temperature. But how big is this temperature swing? Early experiments saw fractions of a degree, but today's thin films and multi-layer stacks can achieve several degrees Celsius in microseconds. That's because nanoscale engineering amplifies the field's influence on dipole alignment and lets heat flow in and out faster. What's going on at the atomic level? Ferroelectrics have a phase transition temperature, where their dipoles flip orientation. Near that threshold, even a small field toggle can trigger a large change in dipole order and thus a large heat exchange. It's like a flip swick for internal energy reservoirs. Engineered to be razor sharp in response, can, can this replace your fridge? In principle, yes. Solid state coolers using the electrocaloric effect would be silent, compact, and free of greenhouse gases. Challenges remain. Cycling voltages efficiently, managing heat flow in and out of tiny films, and finding materials that endure millions of on slash off pulses. But prototype modules are already demonstrating spot cooling of electronics and precision thermal control in lab settings. Why is this a game changer? By tapping the same physics that makes ferroelectrics useful in sensors and actuators, we're turning them into microscopic heat engines. No moving parts, no fluids, just electric fields choreographing atomic dipoles. It's a vivid example of how modern material science can rewrite the rules of thermal management, promising a cooler, greener future. The electrocaloric effect occurs when an applied electric field realigns electric dipoles in a ferroelectric material, causing it to absorb or release heat. Applying a field orders the dipoles, reducing the material's entropy and raising its temperature. Removing the field allows disorder to return, drawing heat from the surroundings and cooling the material. This reversible temperature change can happen in milliseconds, offering a rapid solid-state refrigeration mechanism that challenges the convention that cooling requires moving fluids or gases. Thin films of lead zirconate titanate exhibit temperature drops of several degrees Celsius when the applied field is removed. It is like snapping a stretched rubber band back to its relaxed state and feeling it cool slightly as it returns to disorder. Traditional refrigerators use gas compression and expansion cycles relying on moving parts and refrigerants to transport heat, whereas electrocaloric cooling uses only electric fields to induce heat flow within a solid, eliminating mechanical compressors and coolant leaks. This solid-state approach promises compact, vibration-free devices with fewer environmental hazards. Understanding this distinction is key to envisioning future refrigeration technologies. Whereas a typical refrigerator uses a compressor motor and circulating refrigerant, an electrocaloric module might consist of layers of ceramic films and electrodes. It is like replacing a bulky fan and duct system with a thin window pane that chills a room when you flip a switch. In ferroelectrics, each unit cell contains a tiny electric dipole that can align with an external field. When the field is removed, the dipoles randomly reorient, increasing the material's configurational entropy and lowering its temperature by absorbing heat from the lattice. The speed of dipole flipping underlies the rapid cooling response. In barium titanate, applying and removing a kilovolt per millimeter field can drive dipole reorientation cycles that pump heat in and out of the crystal. It is like crowd members standing in formation when a conductor raises a baton, then scattering randomly to draw in fresh air and 
cool the hall. The key mechanism behind electrocaloric cooling is the change in entropy associated with ordering and disordering electric dipoles. Under an applied field, the system's entropy decreases and excess heat is expelled. Upon field removal, entropy rises, requiring heat absorption from the environment to restore equilibrium. This dynamic entropy exchange between material and surroundings produces net cooling. Um, calorimetric measurements on polymer-based ferroelectric show heat flow into the sample upon field removal, indicative of entropy-driven cooling. It is like compressing and releasing a gas. When you suddenly let it expand, it cools, except here, the compression is ordering dipoles rather than squeezing uh, mole materials near their ferroelectric perielectric transition temperature exhibit the largest electrocaloric responses because their dipole orientations are readily perturbed. At these critical temperatures, small field changes produce large entropy shifts, maximizing cooling per field change. Tuning the transition temperature through composition or strain engineering allows optimization for practical operating range. Relaxer ferroelectrics tuned to have transition temperatures near room temperature display peak cooling performance under moderate fields. It is like balancing at the top of a hill. Small nudges send you rolling quickly, whereas on flat ground, you barely move. Electrocaloric responses are inherently nonlinear. Doubling the field does not simply double the cooling. Because dipole alignment saturates and field ramp rates also matter, very fast removal can produce larger transient cooling before thermal backflow restores equilibrium. Managing these nonlinear dynamics is crucial for maximizing net cooling in practical devices. Pulsed field experiments show greater instantaneous temperature drops compared to slowly ramped fields due to reduced thermal backflow. It is like pulling off a plaster bandage quickly rather than slowly, the sudden release produces a sharper sensation. Um, electrocaloric materials enable refrigerator designs with no moving parts, compact form factors, and potentially higher efficiency for small-scale cooling, offering solutions for cooling microelectronics, sensors, or even portable beverage chillers without compressors. Integrating stacks of thin film electrocaloric layers and heat exchangers can create practical, scalable cooling modules. Prototype cooling chips using multi-layer electrocaloric ceramics have demonstrated cooling powers competitive with thermoelectric coolers. It is like developing a flat, silent cooler plate that you place under a laptop to dissipate heat instead of using noisy fans. Developing electrocaloric materials with large effects, low hysteresis, high field endurance, and long-term stability remains a challenge. Electrodes must withstand high electric fields without breakdown. Heat exchange elements must efficiently move heat in and out over rapid cycles, and scaling from thin films to bulk devices without significant performance loss is a key hurdle. Many high-performance ferroelectric films suffer fatigue after millions of field cycles reducing cooling capacity. It is like designing a rubber band that can be stretched and released a million times without losing its elasticity, a demanding materials feat. And advances in lead-free electrochloric materials, flexible thin film processing, and nanoscale layering promise improved performance and environmental safety. Coupling electrocaloric modules with predictive control algorithms could optimize cooling cycles for dynamic loads. If successful, solid-state refrigeration could revolutionize fields ranging from medical storage to climate-controlled wearables. Research into polymer composites with embedded ferroelectric nanoparticles shows potential for bendable, conformal cooling skins. It is like inventing a cooling tattoo you can apply to electronics or even clothing discreetly managing heat at the flick of an electric switch.